Okay, how do you determine the wheel bearing preload on the portal axles? Well, to begin with, there is two bearings inside here. And uh, you torque down the nut here and press down this big gear and then you add preload on the, on the bearings. You're gonna need some liquid sealant and also a scale so you can measure friction and preload. This is a fish scale. Let's begin after the intro. Now it's time to put on the bearing again and make sure that this surface here is in good shape because that's a sealing surface. To this edge here, so the yeah water and mud will not go into the bearings. Bearing, either if it's uh, the used one or if it's a new one, but it's this is a used one with uh, fresh grease on it. So slide it on and go to the press, press it back on. Find a sleeve, a piece of tube or something, and press on the inner, inner bearing, not on the outer. That's it, you see, the inner only. You need to fill this area here with grease and also in between the two bearing bearing positions it's gonna be like half filled with, with grease. As you can see it's under the lip here it's filled with grease and down here so yeah, it should be like half filled with grease. The bearing and now we're gonna Throw this one on carefully. Like that. Yeah. So down here along the shaft here, so yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the grease is down there. That's where the wheel bearings and the grease side is. And above this ceiling surface here, this is where the gear oil is going to be in the housing. So this side is the oil side and down there is the grease side. So now we're going to take the bearing, not the bearing, but the the gear, big gear, put it on top there, like that. So for this procedure you need some of the basic handles that you most likely have. You need some liquid uh, gasket that can withstand oil, high temperatures and so on. You also need some kind of scale that measure um, force or yeah. This scale is actually for fish. So you put your fish on the hook and then you can brag to your friends how much it weighs. This scale is actually perfect for this procedure. You torque down the nut here and press down this big gear and then you add preload on the on the bearings. So to begin with, you need to measure how much, much friction you have within the seals and everything in this one. Um, so you should put on the gear like this and do not put it all the way down. You should keep just a little bit like a hair uh, so it doesn't provide any preload at all. Like I said, you need to measure the, the friction in this assembly. And do you, how do you do that? Well, 
that's where the scale comes in handy. You could put it like this, and then you, you should, uh, yeah, measure um, how much friction you have. So let's do that. Now that we know how much friction we have in the assembly, I'm gonna show you how I calculate how much preload we're gonna to set to the bearings. So, we know that we have two and a half of kilo in friction. And to transform that one to Newton, we take that times 9.8, we get 24 and a half Newton in friction in the assembly, okay? And you're gonna add the preload so it depends if you reuse a bearing, you're going to add 24 to 28 Newton. Or if you take a new bearing, you're going to add more preload, 42 to 48 Newton. In my case, in this assembly, I have a used bearing, or both bearings are used. And I have 24.5 Newton. And if I add this range i will get 48.5 to 52.5 newton this is the friction plus preload i need to measure with that scale and since that scale is in kilos i need to convert that to kilos of course and uh, you divide this by 9.8 or you can find that uh, translator on, on Google it up or something um, but it's 5 to 5.3 kilo of total uh, friction and preload on the bearings so that's what my fish scale needs to show when I tighten down the nut more and more I'm gonna have 5 to 5.3 on this scale which is around down like that, somewhere around there. And that should give me the correct preload on the bearings. I clean the surface here because you're gonna add some sealant to this edge here of this surface. Put the o ring back. The big washer. Put that one back here. I forgot to mention. Uh, when you do this, you should replace the nut with a new one. Um, I did not, so uh, be careful with the thread in, nut, in the nut because it can be damaged, so make sure uh, it's as nice as possible. Okay, so when you have got the correct preload on the bearings, you should punch the nut here into this groove so the nut does not rotate i hope this episode was useful for you make sure to subscribe and see you next time take care bye